all right welcome back guys so in this video we are going to see how we can add ai fog inside of maya and i'm pretty sure all of you know what fog is and uh, i've created some pretty amazing windows by using this effect so i'm going to demonstrate how you can use this kind of effect in your own renders and in your own scene to give uh, something like a little bit extra to your renders so let's start with the plane i'm going to just reduce the number of subdivisions right and i'm going to create some dummy buildings just to explain what fog and how the fog works okay so i have something like this and i need to go to my mesh and mash it right so i'm going to go to my outliner select my mesh attribute and shift select your mesh select your plane and control mesh and in the distribution i'm going to select the distribution type to mesh and as you can see since we have selected our plane and our mesh all i can do is right click on this and hit connect and there you go so now i can increase the number of uh, objects i want let's something like this and it's up to you where you want to scatter them vertex edges and so on it's good to scatter and uh, so if you want you can randomize this by random effector okay and uh, i'm not going to actually change okay maybe like something like this and change the scale of each building so they are not pretty uniform or something okay so we have something like this and i'm going to increase distance i think there are too many of them so let's just decrease the distribution okay now let's go to our arnold settings and uh, arnold tab and let's hit render you're not going to see anything so let's take a uh, sky and we see something like this okay now i'm going to delete this uh, sky and i'm going to go to my arnold uh, render settings and in arnold tab uh, there are two ways to add atmospheric volume or you can say uh, fog and here you will see in the environment tab there is one thing called as atmosphere all you have to do is go to this checker mark and create ai fog okay and there you go now a few things happen when you create an ai fog the first thing is we are seeing this fog uh, in a kind of like a x dimension which is wrong considering if you are looking through this angle you want this to be in a y direction so to fix this all you have to do is go to your ai fog setting if you don't have it just go to your outliner and uh, uh, if you don't find it even in your outline you simply go to your render settings and you see this marker just click on it and you will be directed to this so as you can see here is your color you can change your color whatever you want i'm going to keep it white for now and your distance and distance basically means uh, how far your fog is from your object so if i increase the distance it will get closer and it's so close that you can't even see so 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 6 and so on so i'm going to keep it pretty low for now so we can see what's going on and the height is basically how high the fog is going to be generated so if i were to increase the height as you can see the height increases too much okay now to understand the height we have to first fix this axis thing now we have this ground normal where it says zero zero and one which means it is flipped around z axis right and the second thing we have is called the ground point which basically defines how lower further it's going to be so i'm going to fix this by simply hitting zero in the z axis and hitting one in the y axis all right so i'm going to go to zoom in my buildings all right and as you can see we do have something but the fog is kind of going in a wrong direction so what i'm going to do i'm going to increase the height 0.2 0.3 and the height is increasing but in a different direction so i need to hit minus one and there you go so now we do have our fog but again it's not exactly what we wanted now to fix this uh, first of all i'm going to increase the height and i'm going to change this to one 
and the ground point to minus one okay and we can go even lower like 10 and all we have to do is increase the height yeah, it can be two three all right so let's take a point okay so we have something like this i'm going to increase the distance to 0.3 maybe all right and uh, two minus 20 right now let's increase this to 10 okay and there we go so i think distance is too much i'm going to change the distance to 0.2 maybe like 0.1 okay this is good and now it comes to the color now you can change any color you want and this effect is really good when it comes to creating a scene like blade turner or something like this you can play around with the height if you want more fog right as you can see we can see only a little bit of our building so you can play around with your whole height kind of thing and uh, what all these are basically distance height and ground normals i'm going to uh, give you a definition of each one of them right and you can find this definition in uh, autodesk tabs uh, autodesk website where you can find arnold's all the documents and everything where you can read about the ai fog and the atmospheric volume i'm going to make a video for atmospheric volume as well but if you want to dig into it you can find it on the website so you can change the whole ground uh, point right you can change the uh, ground normal to back one if you want to change the axis simply hit one and change this to zero but again it's going to be pretty what you can say wrong i'm going to change the height so we can see what is going on so as you can see it's completely in the x axis if you change it to one again here and change this to zero then this is in the z direction that's why you want it to be in y direction so the fog is going from downside to upside upside down kind of so as you can see the fog is fog is kind of generating down below so to fix this all you have to do is again just add a minus number and increase the height then create and this is 2.05 okay. and then maybe like uh, you can add a sphere in this right i'm going to close the ipr for now and let's take this let's increase the whole subdivisions something like this and i'm going to add a material for this new material arnold and stand surface and let's go to the hyper shape and here we have our standard material so i'm going to take a let's say flex and i'm going to add a color correct node let's input this and i'm going to desaturate this and um, i'm going to plug this into the emission color right now right now we don't see any emission because i'm going to change the whole weight and base color to and specular to zero and i'm going to go to my emission tab and change the value to five right uh, right now the whole the material is completely emitting from everywhere right so, so to fix this all we have to do is i'm going to plug this in all right and I'm going to disconnect this. Right. So we have this, as you can see, we have desaturated complete. I'm going to increase the contrast, uh, decrease the gamma, increase it, decrease the gamma, and let's play around with the whole exposure. So as you can see, we still need a lot of contrast, but the contrast is completely working on a different way. So the best way to work around here is to play with your gamma and yeah there you go all right 0.70 works good i'm going to go to my flakes and just change the scale to maybe something lower like this and size and just randomize this okay yeah now let's simply go back to this emission color side surface and let's refresh our arnold tab 
so right now the color is completely being generated from our color correct node so if we change the whole color to like something to multiply to complete black and add to like orange or something maybe like invert it yeah so there you go you see this kind of color right you can play around with this and if you want you can add another color correct node to this and uh, back to the whole color emission color and here you can play around with the whole hue shift to change the overall look of your sphere let's see how the render is looking right now so go back to your rnl tab and hit ipr and as you can see you have a sci-fi looking scene if you want to change the whole hue or saturation you can change it if you want to change the look of your fog you can simply go and click here and uh, change the color this looks good uh, I have one more example scene and old render of mine I'll show you alright so as you can see I have this uh, old scene of mine if I turn on my IPR and show you the perspective so this is basically a terrain I have created and uh, if you are interested in this pack uh, you can simply buy them at Gumroad the link will be in the description and uh, I have also taken a character to demonstrate this scene and this is from a genesis collection on old pack of mine that i've released a long time ago and if you're interested you can buy it as well it's completely free so it's totally up to you the link will be in the description so i'm going to change it back to my main camera this thing and i'm going to delete my sky so as you can see we have nothing right so let's go to the render settings arnold environment and let's add a ai form now everything is complete white so let's fix this first of all i'm going to hit one and this to zero all right and this is perfect now i'm going to increase the height to six i think and when i'm increasing increasing the height notice that the horizon line is slowly getting higher and higher right if i change it to eight there you go now Pay close attention to the distance. Right now we can see our monk very clearly, right? But if I had to increase the distance to about like 0.5, it gets closer. 0.05, right? Like 0 0.080. Yeah, so this is looking good. I'm going to increase the height to maybe 9. So let's change the color uh, to something like this. yeah so this is looking good at least for my days and uh, just adding the distance maybe a little brighter scene if you want yeah so there we have it now again we can add uh, to give something like the element to the scene what we can do is we can go and take maybe a cube Right, I'm going to switch back to my perspective camera. So let's take this cube and uh, I'm going to switch back to my camera and I'm going to log this. So let's bring it over here and I'm going to rotate it to something like this. And um, keep faces together is on and let's extrude it to something like this right now to do the similar kind of thing what we can do is uh, we can add another material and let's go back to the and here we have standard surface i'm going to call this cube right so let's go to arnold and here we have plates let's take the flake and we have a color correct let's attach this let's desaturate this completely right okay so let's decrease the gamma yeah and i'm going to increase the size uh, scale sorry 
and a little bit of the size and some randomization okay i'm going to uh, duplicate this control c control v and i'm just going to make some bigger uh, dots kind of thing and arnold just need a refresh to process this so when i'm done with this all i'm going to do is i'm going to take an ai multiply out color one out color out color two i'm going to attach this to the emission color okay now uh, i'm going to turn off the base and the specular let's increase the emission right, to something like this maybe like 10 5 2 2 is good and i'm going to change this color to something like this. Alright, so we have something like this. Either we can uh, do the uh, opposite, we can make this complete black, uh, but that will just lose our whole plates. So let's keep it like this and let's go back to our scene and let's go hit our node and like yeah. So we have this kind of scene, obviously, this is not looking good, and this was just a demonstration purpose what you can do with this kind of thing so let's increase the emission to get more out of it mm -hmm. so now it looks good okay. now one thing to keep in mind when you are rendering this you need a lot of volume samples when you are working with AI fog or atmospheric volume because they are completely works on volume so if you are using any light for example if you are using any area light or anything right all you have to do is make sure your volume sample is around 5 or 10 maybe right the more samples you have the better right? so in the red app make sure you are increasing your volume samples and everything to get a better result and that's it thank you for watching bye bye